During the 2023 NBA playoffs, the Timberwolves were without their primary perimeter defender, Jaden McDaniels, after McDaniels broke his hand during Game 82 of the regular season. This left the Wolves in a precarious position as they approached a play-in tournament game to clinch the final playoff seed in the Western Conference. The Wolves were playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who were led into that game by dynamic point guard Shea Gilgis-Alexander. SGA is a big guard with a diverse scoring game which makes him the exact type of player that Jaden McDaniels typically matches up with. And for any team going into a playoff game against a talented scorer like SGA, having a long elite perimeter defender like Jaden is a big difference maker. So going into this playing game, Jaden McDaniels absence was very alarming for Wolves fans. To say the least, the Wolves historically don't have the most tremendous track record when push comes to shove. So the lack of Jaden McDaniels against the surging Young Thunder team had a lot of Wolves fans worried that our boys were going to get upset in the play-in tournament and lose our spot in the playoffs. So what were the Wolves going to do to handle SGA for our play-in tournament game? Would they turn to Anthony Edwards? Edwards is a great perimeter defender, but asking your primary offensive threat to also guard the opposing team's number one is a lot to ask of any player. And typically having Jaden relieve Anthony Edwards of that duty makes Anthony more effective as an off-ball defender and as a scorer. Would they turn to Kyle Anderson, slow-mo? He's a solid team defender, but I don't know if he's necessarily a specialist in man-on-man -man defense. What about Torian Prince? The Wolves started him for their first playing game of that season, a loss against the Lakers. He's a solid defensive vet. Nah, forget all that. The Wolves started a fourth year player who had only been with the team for a little over two months. The Wolves rode with Nikhil Alexander Walker, and we still do to this day. Nikhil has turned into a significant, consistent contributor to this Wolves team, and in this video, I'm gonna break down Nas' continued impact on the Wolves. To wrap up the opening anecdote, Nas delivered as the Wolves' primary defender on SGA. A significant part of that story is that Nikhil is SGA's cousin, and Wolves team president Tim Conley actually suggested slotting Nikhil into the starting spot and having him guard SGA. Shea was held to 22 points, shooting a pretty brutal 26% from the floor, going 5 of 19 from the field. And regarding Nikhil's performance in that game, Carl was quoted post-game saying, he's the reason we won. There's no other way to put it. And that effort from Nikhil has translated well into this season as well. Nikhil's role with this team is providing 3 and D support off the bench which is a role he has performed well in this season. I remember years ago, the first game I ever saw Nikhil Alexander-Walker play in, it was when he was on the New Orleans Pelicans as a rookie. And it was very apparent at that time that he might have some issues with shot selection. He was chucking out there. He seemed to really like the look and feel of his own jumper. Uh, he was pulling up on some tough shots, and to be honest, he wasn't really hitting them. Luckily, since then, Nikhil has reeled in his shot selection, and since his rookie season, his shooting splits have greatly improved. Now, Nikhil Alexander-Walker is not a certified sniper from three, but last season he had a really, really good shooting season, shooting 38%, and this year he's shooting 36%. What is important to consider though is that the Wolves don't need Nikhil Alexander to be a knockdown volume shooter. The Wolves are not looking for J.R. Smith or Ray Allen out there. What the Wolves need is a, a Trevor Ariza. Nikhil only attempts three threes a game right now and he's putting down roughly one of those three. And those numbers fit right into the Wolves' needs. Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, Mike Conley, Jade McDaniels, and of course, Nas Reed are gonna take care of the majority of our perimeter shooting. So Nikhil provides an accurate and confident enough shooting game to warrant coverage on the perimeter, and that's really what it's about. To have a guy out there who can give Carl and Ant room to work in the lane. Now, Nikhil's real key contribution to this team is the defense. In multiple instances now, Na has stepped up and filled in for Jaden McDaniels during his absences. Last year's playoffs, as well as this year's two opening games, 
and now is Jaden McDaniels recovers from his high ankle sprain. Now, Nikhil Alexander Walker is not Jaden McDaniels, but for a player coming off the bench to pick up the other team's primary offensive threats, Nikhil Alexander Walker has been a really nice backup option for us. NBA team success certainly pivots on its star players. It's a star driven league, but sustainable team success comes from the contributions of players up and down the rosters. And as Wolves fans, we should be happy to have a solid contributor in Nikhil Alexander Walker, especially when you consider that for all intents and purposes, Nas was essentially a throw in for the Conley trade. That trade served primarily as a vehicle to get D'Angelo Russell to the Lakers, Mike Conley to the Wolves, and the soon-to-be-waved Russell Westbrook and a first-round pick to Utah. Now, around the perimeter of that deal, there was some significant happenings as the Lakers picked up former Wolves contributors Malik Beasley and Jared Vanderbilt. But as it pertains to the Wolves, we managed to do work around the perimeter of that deal as well, getting Nikhil Alexander-Walker, which, if you were following it at the time, didn't seem like a big deal. The Wolves have had some recent success with other trade throwing guys. That's how we acquired Jared Vanderbilt from Denver. And even Jane McDaniels himself, as the Wolves acquired his draft rights in the Ricky Rubio trade. Isn't that a wild one? All that to say, the Wolves got Nikhil Alexander Walker out of that trade as essentially an afterthought, and he has made the most of his opportunity, and that's being put to the test right now. Jaden McDaniels suffered an ankle sprain in the Wolves' recent game against the Knicks, and during his recovery, Nikhil has filled in for McDaniels in the starting lineup. McDaniels is going to be reevaluated very soon, but could still be out for several more weeks depending on his recovery process. Now, Nikhil's stat line in his five starts since Jaden's injury doesn't necessarily jump off the stat sheet, with the exception of the most recent game. In the most recent game against the Utah Jazz, he gave us potentially his best game as a Timberwolf and flirted with a 5x5 five five stat line. He scored 20 points, grabbed 5 boards, 7 assists, 5 steals, and 2 blocks, and really exemplified what he brings to this team. And while his stats and other starts haven't been mind-blowing, if you're watching these games, you know exactly how he's been contributing as both an off-ball defender, getting in passing lanes, and probably most importantly is an on-ball defender. Offensively, the efficiency hasn't necessarily been there, but Nikhil is a streaky shooter, and it looks like this Jazz game may have been the start of a hot streak. Over this next week or two while Jaden continues to recover, the Wolves faithful will have a chance to see what Nikhil Alexander Walker has to offer in this more significant and sustained role. As far as team success in the NBA is concerned, the ceiling of a team and how far they can go is often dependent on the contributions of its upper echelon players, in our case the Anthony Edwards and the Carl Anthony Townses, and we should absolutely continue to celebrate the success those guys have had. Anthony Edwards all season. Carl Anthony Towns turned it around after a rough start and has been absolutely hooping, especially during Anthony Edwards' recent absence. But overall, team success in the NBA is dependent on contributions from players up and down the roster. The guys around the edges make a huge difference. Your 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th guys are very critical for success. In the case of the Timberwolves, Nikhil Alexander Walker is one of those guys, and Wolves fans should be celebrating his success alongside this team, alongside our stars. Because contributions from players further down the roster like Troy Brown Jr. and Nikhil Alexander Walker are a big, big part of what has made this the most successful Timberwolves season in 20 years. So nah, keep hooping. Stay lit. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.